Hello everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to download, install, create mod for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here all you want to do is go to your search bar and search up mod winfact. So here just go to modwinfact.com and click on modwinf. And now you'll be on the modern homepage. So here all you want to do is go to the top of the website to discover content and then you want to go down to mods. Now all you want to do is go to search mods and you want to go ahead and search up for create. Now you'll find two different kinds here. You'll find create and create fabric and this one is if you want to use fabric and this one is if you want to use forge and neoforge. So we'll just choose the top one here and from there all you want to do is go to versions and now all you want to do is go to game versions and you want to choose if you want to play on 1.18, 1.19, 1.20 or 1.21. I'll just choose the latest one they have here. And here we only have Neoforge versions here. So be aware of that. But if you find a release for your version and if you find a platform here, which is either Fabric or Neoforge, just click on the green download button. And from there, we need to go ahead and get ourselves Neoforge to get, well, create for Neoforge to work. So this the way you do this is simply by going to a new tab and then you want to go ahead and go to your search bar and then you want to go ahead and search up for Neoforge, like so. Here you'll find neoforge.net here, go on the Neoforge project link and from there all you want to do is go to four other versions here and then you want to click on the orange button here. And now all you want to do is just go to Minecraft version and then you want to go ahead and choose the Minecraft version you chose for create mod. So here we chose 1.21.1 here. You can see this from here. And once you did this, all you want to do here is simply go ahead and click the download button here. And this will get you Neoforge. And if you can't run Neoforge because it is a .jar installer, you might need to go to a new tab and then you might need to go to your search bar and search up for JDK24. Here you'll find Java downloads here on overcall.com. Just click on this website and I will have this website in the description as well. But all you want to do is go to accept all here. And from there, all you want to do is simply go ahead and scroll down and then you'll find JDK24. You'll find Windows. Click this if you're using Windows and here you'll find x64 install. Click this link to download and install Java and then you'll be able to go ahead and use the install. Now, if you used Forge here instead of Neoforge because you might have other mods in mind, all you have to do is do the same thing we did earlier. Now, you only need to do this if you don't use Neoforge, but basically you just do Minecraft Forge like so. And here you'll find a website called filesminecraftforge.net here. Click on this and from there you'll find our versions here. Now, as we see for create, it is 1.20.1 here, but if you add something like this, well, it's like 1.20.1 here for Forge. We'll go ahead and choose 1.20, 1.20.1 here, see, 1.20.1. And here you just go ahead and download the latest installer as well. So you just do this if you are not using Neoforge and if you're using Forge here. Okay, so now once you have everything you need here, so create a Neoforge and your Java instance if you need it, just go ahead and close your web browser and then you want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here, all you want to do is find the Neoforge installer and double click it. And from there, all you want to do is go to install client here. And I'll just do proceed. And this will just download the Neoforge installer for you. So you can add the create Neoforge mod or Forge. It is the same process. It is just two different installers. So yeah. So here we'll just wait for this to finish. And once it's done, just do OK. And now you want to go to the Minecraft launcher here. And this is how you open up Minecraft Java and everything. And from there, all you want to do is make sure you have a Neoforge. If you do, you can go to installations. Then you can go ahead and hover over a release, for example, and go to the folder icon. And it should bring you to the dot Minecraft folder. Now here, you want to find a mods folder. And if you don't have a mods folder, just make one. So you just right click, new, folder and then you just rename it to mods so that's it if you don't have a mods folder so just double click the mods folder and from there all you do is go to downloads 
You have to go ahead and select and copy create and then you have to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click paste. Here we just copy pasted create in the Minecraft mods. So once you have this layout, just go to the Minecraft launcher and now you have to go to play, make sure NeoForge or Forge is selected and click play. Here it might tell you to understand the risks, so just do yes and do play again. And then we'll have to wait to be in Minecraft and create will be active. Okay, and once you have Minecraft here, you will notice that we do have Neoforge and right here and create here. And if we go to single player, I will to just go to a single player world. It also works for the server if the server and the people playing the server has the same mod. And if we just quickly go in the world, we'll be able to go ahead and try out create. So here we have Minecraft. And if we go ahead and go to our inventory, You'll, you'll notice here we have one or two. Just go here, and now you have all the create mod options. You can, of course, add the add ons as well to have even more blocks you can play with. But this is the idea here that this is create in Minecraft Java. So, yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to download and install create mod for Minecraft Java. So, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye.